Hello friends. Today I am going to tell you an important and interesting rule given by French mathematician L'Hopital. You know how to evaluate limits. It may take three or four minutes, or in some cases more than that, if you use usual method to evaluate it. But using L'Hopital rule, we can evaluate a limit in very few steps. I will explain how. In calculus, L'Hopital rule evaluates limits involving indeterminate forms. Now, what do you mean determinate forms? There are six to seven indeterminate forms. For example, zero upon zero. This is an indeterminate form in mathematics. Infinity upon infinity. This is again an indeterminate form. So, in some special cases, L'Hopital rule can be used. Now, its application, or in some cases, repeated application of this rule, converts an indeterminate form to a determinate form, which allows us easy calculation of the limit. Now, as I said, that this rule was given by famous French mathematician L'Hopital. Now, I will explain the rule which helps us to evaluate limits quickly. As I said, that L'Hopital rule cannot be used in all the cases. We will consider this case. If limit f of x as x tends to a equal to limit g of x as x tends to a is 0, then L that is limit equal to limit f of x upon g of x as x tends to a is the same as limit of f dash of x upon g dash of x as x tends to a. Note that I haven't used quotient rule to find the derivative of f of x and g of x. Note that numerator and denominator are to be differentiated separately. Right? So, here I have mentioned it, where f dash of x and g dash of x are derivatives of f of x and g of x respectively. Now, it might happen that again we get 0 by 0 form. So, in that case, if again we get 0 by 0 form, then what is the value of limit L? It is nothing but limit of f double dash of x upon g double dash of x as x tends to a and so on. Means what? You may get 0 by 0 form after this step. So, what should be done? Again, find derivative of numerator and denominator separately. Is that clear? Now, we will solve few examples. The first one, limit of which function? x minus sin x upon x cube as x tends to 0. See, if you follow usual method, then this sum is not an easy one. Uh, in fact, you can call it as a higher order thinking skill sum. Uh, I can give you the hint for that. You can try the solution later on. Here, you are supposed to put x equal to 3 theta. Before that, you have to write, let L be the given limit put x equal to 3 theta and so on. So, again, after simplification, you get some part of L, rearrange the terms and so on. But this difficult sum, we call it as D group sum, is converted into simple form thanks to L'Hopital. So, here I have written in the solution by L'Hopital rule, what is L? It is limit of 1 minus cos x upon 3x square as x tends to 0. Why? As per rule, find derivative of numerator. What is derivative of x? 1. What is derivative of sin x? Cos x. And find out derivative of denominator, which is derivative of x cube, that is 3x square. Again, I repeat, L'Hopital rule can be used here because we get 0 by 0 form if we take limit in the very first step. You can verify that. 0 minus sin 0, which is 0 upon 0 cube. Is that clear? Now, can I uh, use L'Hopital rule again? Yes, I can. Why? If you try to take limit, then what is cos 0? 1. 1 minus 1, 0 upon 0. So, again by L'Hopital rule, it is limit of what is derivative of 1? 0. What is derivative of minus cos x? It is plus sin x upon derivative of x square is 2x, 3 into 2x, that is 6x. Rearrange the terms. So, it is 1 upon x, uh, 1 upon 6 into this standard limit, limit of sin x upon x as x tends to 0. 
Now this is standard trigonometric limit. Its value is one. So one upon six into one. That is one upon six. See how easily uh, we got the answer. Or some students may say, sir, uh, this can be used as standard result. Which one? Limit of one minus cos x upon x square as x tends to zero, which is half. So one upon three to half. That is one by six. Is that clear? Now the next one. Limit of which function? Log of four plus x minus log of four minus x upon sine x as x tends to zero. Is this a case where L'Hopital rule can be used? Yes, it is. How? Take limit in the very first step. Four plus zero is four. So log four minus again log four, which is zero upon sine zero. That is zero. So here we can use L'Hopital rule. So as per the rule, what is the value of limit L? It is limit of which function? One upon four plus x minus one upon four minus x upon cos x. Why? Derivative of log is one upon into as per chain rule. Derivative of four plus x, which is one. So that is why simply one upon four plus x minus. What about uh, derivative of log of four minus x? It is one upon four minus x into derivative of four minus x, which is actually minus one. Now this is correct. Uh, previously it was not there, so it is one upon four plus x minus minus plus one upon four minus x upon cos x. Now can I take the limit? Yes, I can because I'm not getting zero in the denominator. To take the limit in this case means to replace every x by its limiting value, which is zero. So one upon four plus zero plus one upon four minus zero upon one because cos zero is one. So the final answer, final answer is one. Dear friends, I hope that you have understood the rule, and I'm confident that when uh, you solve the multiple choice questions, the method is immaterial. You will definitely use L'Hopital rule. Thank you.